Welcome. I am Dr. Julian from Talia Temple. Picture class. It's like master class, but not nearly as good. But it's free because it's the quality attempted version. But not really. We're going to do it. Down the way. I'm just like waiting for someone to laugh because some people might not even know who Vanna White is. <laughs> We're gonna do decades in film. Um, I thought of an interesting way to do like a online show, online, how old am I? A YouTube show on the internet. <laughs> Uh, and we're gonna go decade by decade through film, obviously starting in the 1980s with Blowout, uh, which is my current favorite film. It had dethroned the Blade Runner from, uh... uh? Yeah, that's, no, there's, there's no more to that sentence. It had dethroned Blade Runner. Uh, there was a specific shot in that movie that made me laugh at a very tense moment, and I was like, oh, okay. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to talk about this movie to launch us into this new program. It began with a sound that no one was ever supposed to hear. So it is on Pluto and Tubi for free. It is also on Prime Video, um, or Amazon Prime Video, whatever it's called. Uh, I don't know if the quality is better, because a lot of times you'd assume, like, they'd get a better master of it. I don't know if it's a public domain one. No, it's not public domain. We are... <laughs> uh, Blowout is a film about making a film. Uh, Brian De Palma, um, is a huge fan of movies. He likes filmmakers, and he likes to show the process that he goes through when he makes a film. So this is a very, very, very personal film for him. Uh, he was very obsessed with the K Jim, yeah. He was very obsessed with the John F. Kennedy assassination. And uh, he had that as a recurring theme in his movies. And this movie's kind of the ultimate obsession because a movie recording, a movie sound designer, audio engineer, whatever his official title is, who is supposed to just record sounds for a crappy horror movie, accidentally records an assassination through a gunshot. But everyone thinks it's a blowout because that happens in the movie. So uh, I'm going to give a spoiler alert. Uh, this film came out in 1981. Uh, this is the Criterion Collection, which automatically, you could tell, would draw my eye to it. Um, Visually, I want to know about this movie, but it tells you so much more than the original poster, which is John Travolta, you know, it's like a cutoff. Uh, if you're looking for this movie on Tubi or Apple TV, if you search it, you'll see that image. I think this is a much better image. Uh, this is the one the Criterion Collection used, and a lot of times they'll use covers like this. Um, they also did one for Thief, it, but I think I like that original poster better, but it also features like James Caan and a similar thing, but it's him under the Chicago Bridge. But it's just a photo, you know, it's a interesting, it's not, this is not representative of the time period it came out, which um, if you've seen Brian De Palma, other posters, uh, Body Double and Dress to Kill, these are the original posters. Um, these three films, uh, are a exploitation trilogy and they also tell the story of film through a the actual film what you see on camera uh, a sound and director's point of view and blowout and then in body double you see it from an actor's point of view um i have a very large theory about that i'm hoping to uh, get it more organized and express it better but uh that's just a sample <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite parts of this film is the fact that you see a movie being made right in front of your eyes. He's showing you how he's doing it. Um, the sequence, which is reproduced very nicely in the booklet from the Criterion Collection, um, when they publish the film into photos uh, for a magazine, when John Travolta's character Jack buys them, uh, buys the magazine, and then he cuts the film and then he synchronizes it. He, I mean, he cuts these and then basically s tapes them together, tapes the photos together. So 
got like on a strip, like a film strip, and then he um, synchronizes it with the sound. So you see technically how a film is made like an old school way versus how everything would be digitally scanned, computer, nonlinear editing. They're doing, you know, old school cuts and stuff like that. He recorded a murder. They say it never happened. It has an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes. It has 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb. Those are numbers, if that matters to you. Written and directed by Brian De Palma. Uh, he also did Scarface, The Untouchables, Body Double, Dress to Kill, Phantom of the Paradise, Mission Impossible, Snake Eyes. I'm not gonna go through this whole familiar uh, filmography, but I probably could. Uh, he is currently my favorite director. Blowout. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, if you've watched this film, you can at least agree it is very entertaining and uh, very beautifully shot. <laughs> um, what do you think is, uh, is this a good movie or bad movie? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Um, are there any movies you're hoping that you'd like to see in this uh, decade thing I'm doing? I have kind of a list, but the idea is to try to keep them all free. So feel free to drop me an email at qualityattempted at gmail.com. And you can also check us out on Instagram at qualityattempted, one word, but it's also two. Huh? What? I don't know. So uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.